The island dream I expected. Endless beach, sand, surf, sunsets, even fire. I didn't expect this. I've been lucky to have seen rivers around the world. I've even run a few, sourced to sea. So I guess I thought I'd seen what rivers could offer, and the natural artwork they sculpt upon our landscapes. Honestly, no description could have prepared me for this. What the native people here refer to as the highway to their ancestors. Some call it the River of Eden. Others say it is the tropical Grand Canyon. Here, in Fiji, the locals call it the Navua River. Beyond this undescribable beauty, something else lured me here. The Upper Navua River is the only protected river of its kind in the South Pacific. When I was born, I heard stories about this area. This is like a route or road to all our ancestors up in this area. That's a good thing that we rivers we have protected it from other developments like uh, extracting gravel, mining, or damming the whole uh, river. About 15 years ago, a small rafting company did the unthinkable. They convinced local landowners and the government that the long-term economic benefit of conservation and tourism outweighed the quick money from extracting their resources or damming their river. I came here to understand how so few people could protect such a spectacular corridor inside Fiji's volcanic heart. The Upper Navua River Canyon is one of the most beautiful rivers on Earth. It is a tight, narrow canyon that probably is less than 20 feet wide in some places spans up to 250, 300 feet high. It has dark black canyon walls fringed with green palms and ferns with trickles of water and waterfalls throughout the whole course. During the rainy season, we easily would never be out of sight upstream or downstream of a waterfall. And I've never been in a place where that is even remotely possible. Welcome to my office. 